everybody! Hello and welcome to the final Hades stream. This is not to say that I will never play Hades again, or even never stream Hades again, because it could totally happen um, that I could want to return to the game. Um, it's super fun. There's a lot of stuff to do. Um, I could see myself wanting to come back and revisit it. But as far as the consecutive... Lauren plays through the main story of Hades and figures out what's going on and experiences things and maybe cries a little bit and has feelings and stuff. This is the end, which, I mean, to be fair, this is number 45, I think, or 46. We almost made it to 50, which um, Dark Souls surpassed. Like, we, we haven't quite beaten Dark Souls for a number of streams, but, um, but it's close. Um, so I think it's kind of time to move on. But I have really enjoyed this game. I think if I hadn't taken like long breaks so that it felt so long, I think it might have been a little bit less stressful. Um, but overall, I would say Hades is definitely one of the most solid games I've ever uh, I've ever experienced. Like everything about it is good. The gameplay is good. The writing is good. The characterization is outstanding. The voice acting is is uh, is phenomenal. The music has so many electric guitars. <laughs> Look, I have priorities. Um, there's really not anything about it that isn't really well done. I can understand, absolutely understand it not being to someone's taste, but it's really, really, it's quite, a, it's a masterpiece, frankly. Um, and I've really enjoyed my time with it. Um, Zagreus is one of my favorite characters I think I might have ever encountered in something. Um, and that's really neat. It makes me sad when I find people who only play the things that they grew up with and only like the characters that they grew up with and don't get new favorites. You know? Like, I feel like you're missing out on a lot. Um, like Hades, for example. Zagreus is not somebody that I grew up with. When I was a kid, there, there was no Zagreus from Hades. Do we call him Zagreus Hades game? Is that, is that his official uh, <laughs> internet name form? I don't know. Because um, I feel like it has to be Hades game. It can't just be Hades. Because um, that would be too, too close to correct. And you have to d differentiate between Hades the character and Hades the game. Um, but yeah, no, like, I feel like... like it's, it's safe to say that, that Zagreus may go on record as... I mean, we'll see kind of... if, if t Time will tell if this is a long-standing thing, but he could very easily go down as one of my favorite characters from anything, which is neat. I'm glad I've gotten to know this weird, precious boy and his... his, his oop, that's the wrong button. His, his, his weird family. Come on, controller. Come on. Why is the... Play. Oh my god. Technical difficulties. <sighs> hold on. Now it's saying PlayStation 4 controller. Oh my god, hold on. Sorry. I. Man! Uh, why? <laughs> Technical difficulties. Oh my god. <sighs> anyway, hi. Hello. It is clearly Lauren is is streaming a game because we are having technical difficulties. Okay, everything should be working. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? What? It is a, it's just a, it says it works. I don't know. <laughs> At least we get to hear this music. Oh man. Thank you, Mr. Spaghetti Zone. Well, I'm super honored that this is the best Hades playthrough. I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of things that other people do better than I do, but the one thing I have going for me is that I'm 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 me. <laughs> And if you find me entertaining, then I guess you get that. Um. 
Wonder if I can get out even faster. So I'm I'm uh, I'm 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 doing my thing. For better or for worse. And I have had a lot of struggle about whether that's a good thing or not, but ultimately there's only so much I can do about that. So I guess I'll just continue to be my weird little self. <laughs> and those of you who find it entertaining, um I'll be happy to entertain you. So this is our week, our last week of Hades, and I'll catch up a little bit more about like the the week and how things have been and stuff later. But I just, I'm setting the stage of Hades stuff. Yeah. So since this is the last Hades, I will be taking next Thursday off because my bandmate is going to be in town, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out with her. Um. So we're gonna take a a a a a, a, a week a week break between Hades and um, I think we're probably gonna do unpacking next. Maybe we'll try the like cyberpunk cat game. That might be fun. Um, and then we'll, we're will we supposed to dive into Disco Elysium. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I, I feel like there's gotta be other playthroughs that have dug into this story as much as I do. They probably weren't as long winded as I was. That might be a good thing for them. <laughs> I, I, I feel like, I feel like if I could find a way to do what I do with less downtime, I don't know. I don't know, but that's, that's, that's something for Lauren to agonize over off, sc off stream. Really? There are other people who are as long-winded as I am? Okay. Well, that's cool. I want, I want, I want to make friends with these people. Like, I want to make stream friends who do stream stuff the way I do stream stuff. Um... Look at this. This guy disappears. This guy disappears. I'm being so, like, is this rude? Is this rude of me? That probably is. I would totally, I don't know. I'm so used to it. Well, I mean, it's one thing if you aren't interested in the story, but if you are, there's a lot to dig into. It is interesting that there has been this, this increase of games that have the story be sort of kind of a little bit optional um if you really don't care about it but then there's really really good stories because i feel like a lot of times um a lot of times games that really focus on story and having a really good high quality story tend to be more like a jrpg type experience <laughs> thanks trip oh 13 months 13 months drink well thank you for your support friend um, thank you. Yes, this is the last Hades stream. Um, you know, the gameplay is fantastic in this Anna and Horizon Zero Dawn. They're both outstanding games that let you skip their extraordinarily well-written stories. Um, which is a really interesting decision to me. Because I grew up on things like Suikoden, where the gameplay is really not the selling feature. Oh my god, by the way, Suikoden 1 and 2 are coming out with the new translation. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway... <laughs> Sorry, um, but 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 so so to to see to see this because there have been games that you can kind of skip over the story, but it's stuff like Half Life where like you might find the story compelling, you might find the characters interesting, but it's, overall that's not like I'm sorry, the, the, that's not the thing and it's not the focus and <laughs> there's more limits to like how much story focus there was I think in the game, um, I don't know. Uh, and this, so this 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 is really interesting. They've managed to make something that successfully appeals to both gameplay focused gamers and um, uh, story focused gamers by making it so that the gameplay focused folks can just be like, whatever, I don't care about the story, and the story focused focused folks can make the game easier so they can get through it. And that's really cool and interesting. And and I'm wondering how that's going to continue. Um, I wonder how that's going to continue to develop as games continue to mature. As a, as a genre. And yes, yes. The new Suikoden into 2 translation means no more honking cat, which is in fact one of the first things I, I said to my sister when we were talking about that. Oh man, Suikoden. Um, no, it'll just be a cat that just meows. Um, that was a, there was a, there, there were some translation errors in that game. So before we dive on in, I want to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do tonight. Tonight, we're going to beat Hades. The game not just dad because we've been doing that a bunch no um so there's a few things i want to do before we f before we have the dinner party 
I don't know. It's, it's, it's more like having them over for drinks. But whatever. It's a dinner party. It's a dinner party. As far as I'm concerned, it's a dinner party. Um, there's a few things I think you'll be okay with them. One, we have to unlock the gun. We've got the gun's waking phrase. Now we can unlock the gun. I'm super excited. Just dying to see what they do. We will absolutely then take the gun and go have a run. Now, there's a few things I want to try to do. I would really like to try to get Achilles and Patroclus's Patroclus, Pat, Pat, Patty, Pat, Pat. I want to try to get their story wrapped up, if possible. Um, I also want to turn on Extreme Measures Four just to see what it is. I don't think I'm able to beat it, but I want I want to see see it because we have to get to Pat anyway. So we're not going to be doing any Caron Yolo runs this time around. Um, uh, was there anything else I needed to do? Were there any other plot threads? Like I can get Meg's Meg's final relationship thing I have I'm conceding I'm conceding that Zagreus is canonically Polly with Meg and Thanatos that's apparently what what he how how, how his feelings are I, I assume that Meg uh, and Thanatos because Thanatos was kind of like I'm a little nervous about this relationship thing but we'll give it a try and I suspect that that's kind of where we're going to be with Meg as well um, but I assume that that, that that does seem to be canonical and I am Hi, Rainbow Julian. Welcome, welcome. I I tend I, I tend to respect. Uh, oh oh well hello hello Trib's Trib's boyfriend Rainbow Julian. Welcome hello. We definitely welcome boyfriends here. Um, I I I I tend to have a hard time with pairings that aren't canonical, especially if they go against canon. Um, and so when I was, okay, I'm sorry, I hear I'm already diving into talking about stuff here. Um, when I thought that this game was kind of going to go dating some element stuff, well, then, I mean, I guess I can hook up Zagreus with the character that I think he has the healthiest relationship, which is Thanatos. Um, but I, as I've said many times, I prefer games in which the characters have their own personalities and their own relationships and so they are in the relationships that make sense for them um so i actually don't really like dating sim aspects of games because I, i'd rather the character fall in love with the person that that character would fall in love with whether i like that or not so case in point here we are testing that i don't like meg <laughs> um i feel like i might like her more if i kept playing the game and, and was viewing her dialogue from the perspective of like the additional side of her personality that we just found out about a few weeks ago. Um, but I don't like her, but Zagreus does. And I absolutely believe that Zagreus is trying to uh, win her over. And he even like cried at Achilles about not knowing what to do about having feelings for multiple people. So like far be it from me to say this canonical relationship doesn't exist because I don't like them. Um, and so, uh, so in these two here is not the Pauliness. Like that's, that's totally fine. I just, I don't like Meg. <laughs> and so I was like, if you're going to give me the choice of who Zagreus hooks up with, I'll choose the character that I think is a better fit for him, which is Thanatos. Um, but Zagreus canonically is in love with them both. And so canonically he gets together with, I assume he gets together with both of them. And so like it or not. It doesn't matter whether I like it or not. Zagreus is his own person. That's his story. That's the story that the writers have written. And that's how I like to consume stories. And it doesn't come out of left field. It's not a throne in their love interest that doesn't make any sense. It is actually a sensible culmination of their relationship and their development. There is more going on with Meg and their relationship than I was able to see for the majority of the game. Um, and and so, like, I okay, all right. And I realize this puts me in a weird spot because a lot of people don't do canonical relationships as like what they're like. A lot of people see fanon ships or make up their like their ship outside of canon. And I've just never been like that. I just I just don't do that. You know, to me, that's like as weird feeling as feeling like your one friend should get together with this other person, even though they're dating somebody. That's just a really uncomfortable spot to be in. And because of the way that I engage with characters and stories where they are kind of, they're their own people. If they're with somebody, I can grumble about that or not like it. And if it comes out of nowhere and is a badly done relationship because there needs to be a girl for the guy to kiss, then that's an issue. 
but by and large, if the characters are writ- written well, like, I just, I'm just like, okay, that's Polly. Or that's Polly, it's canon. And, like, kudos to this game for having a canonical Polly relationship as, like, the center main character's uh, uh, romance, like, story. Like, that's cool, and I can't think of any other mainstream games offhand that go that direction. But there is a lot of precedent for it in Greek mythology. As Achilles points out, pretty much everybody, except for maybe Hades and Persephone, who is related to Zagreus, like... I mean, they they fall in love a lot, um, and uh, and so that's that's nice. That's neat. I hope that this is a meaningful bit of representation for folly folks out there. And yes, Hades, Persephone, and Nyx. That was an OT three. See, and in that case, like it feels like it doesn't run counter to canon, even if it's not explicitly canon. Um, you know, so I'll re- finish writing that at some point. If you folks are interested in reading that, just follow me on AO3 and you'll see when that when that happens um because I have a couple of of Hades fic things going on um there also might be more Delta Rune coming because I man I don't know um but uh but yeah so so video games so that's what I have to say about me and relationships in video games. Yeah, and one of the relationship roots ends with the friendship, which is why I'm pretty positive that the Meg relationship is going to actually be romantic, partly because Agarus has talked about his feelings, um, but also because they've made it clear that their relationships are going to end in the way that makes sense for these characters, regardless of what you think. Like, you don't matter in this decision. Zagreus does. And that's, for me, how it should be. Because Zagreus is a person, he's not... He's not your avatar. He's Zagreus. He has feelings. Your avatar can hook up with whoever you want your avatar to hook up with. And that's, for me, less compelling. For other people, it's more compelling. Um, But I like this. I like this. So I think that's neat. And I think it's neat that this game has given me an opportunity to, to put that to the test with a canonical relationship with somebody where I don't like that and have me, like, do I stick to my guns? And the answer is yeah. Yeah, I do. So that means, yes, if I were to write, I'm glad I held off on writing main, main character Hades stuff because that's canon. So I got to write that in because that's how I roll for better or worse. Yes. Speaking of sticking to guns, that's right, Chrono. Last time we unlocked, well, not we unlocked, we got finally the waking phrase for the gun. We also got the shield. Um, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to use that. That's no, that's going to be like Guan Yu. That's too hard for me to get out anytime soon. Um, but we are going to, we're going to, we're going to get the Lucifer gun. Um, and I will spare you all the lectures that I gave you last time about the coolness of treating Christian mythology like other mythologies, um, in, in equal, equal footing. Um, uh, but, uh, I, at least I, I think I'll spare you that lecture. <laughs> <laughs> we might get a little bit of that again, but yeah, um, that that was a that was that was something that I think I stopped for fifteen minutes to talk about last time, which is pretty pretty good. Yes, it, it's it's in the vod from last week if you haven't seen that. Um, but I'll reference that, and I might do a quick cliff's notes of it at some point. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, other than that, like Achilles and Pat, we need to we need to get that relationship going. But we're we're pretty close. We're pretty close to uh, to wrapping things up. Also, you'll notice I didn't talk to this statue, even though I got it, because I was failing. I was just too preoccupied with other things. But let's talk to everybody. Let's do this. Shall we dive into the game? Dive into the talking to people? Let's do it. See you next time you die, okay? Thanks, Hypnos. You are a beacon of positivity. Sorry, Dad, you gotta wait. A word, Prince? Everybody wants to talk to me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna talk to this first. I paid for it. I can mess with it. <laughs> the frightful countenance of a bleached, bloodless warrior decorates the hall forevermore, eternally in tribute to the savage servants of the house's lord. Hmm. I could take him. <laughs> Thanks, Zagreus. Zagreus was not under question. I mean, everybody's got things to say. Hello. 
He doesn't try to get the others to talk. I don't know. I want them to do something, but they haven't yet. All right, this looks like this might be a big deal. I don't know what it's going to be, but um, he's got the, the big the big exclamation point. So let's find out. I need your help with something, Lana. As I'm about to risk it all, I think. Will you hear me out? Um, yes, please. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. I'm here for you, Achilles. What can I do? Of course, sir. What is it? I'm listening. The pact I signed with your father. It must be buried somewhere down in the administrative chamber there. I dared not ask that you locate it, out of fear that tampering with it would only make things worse, except... They're already bad because you're apart. Except that fear is for the weak, Achilles, sir. I love him. He's so serious. He takes us very seriously. I love Zagreus. I just love him. Indeed. Besides... Your father has been more abiding than I expected with how you were able to nullify the terms for Orpheus and Sisyphus alike, so perhaps my case isn't a lost cause yet. Okay, so the situation with Sisyphus, I think, is the flag that, um, that's why we weren't getting this. Because I hadn't, I hadn't, uh, nullified Sisyphus's contract. Okay. And yes, uh, it turns out that Zagreus can create change, even for Hades himself. I'll speak with Nyx about it the next chance I get. And I'll be careful, sir. I promise you. Okay, we've got a couple more, a uh, couple more runs in us then. You have my thanks. Yes, 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 yes. What's the latest? This guy's got into a fight. Oh man, boyfriend time! Boyfriend time. It makes sense for Sisyphus to be a requirement there, um, but I'm very curious. I'm very curious and excited to see it because I've been wanting that storyline to continue for a very long time. But boyfriend. Boyfriend. I'm sorry I raised my voice with you last time, Fen. I know Nyx put so much into this place and has nurtured so many of us here. Oh, good. That's it. Yes. A apologizing. Communicating. Like, grown-ups. Be grown-ups, boys. Please be grown-ups. It's not me you should be apologizing to, Zag. Although, with Mother Nyx, sometimes it's best to leave her be. As for Dusa... I didn't mean to suggest you should abandon your friend. Oh, look, see, here's Thanatos coming around as well. They're talking again. They're talking about it like grown-ups. Thanks. But it's, it's just so interesting how Thanatos is afraid of his mother. And I don't think he understands that Zagreus is not. But I think he would be jealous if he did understand. I don't know. If I were to write a post-canon fic, it would be Zagreus fixing that relationship. And the chaos would have to be involved. Because I want chaos to meet their, their like actual grandkids. Great-grandkids. Grandkids. Grandkids. Direct grandkids. Thanatos. I want chaos to meet Thanatos. I'm sorry, but I think that would be adorable. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, chaos might be coming to dinner party time, so I'm excited about that. It's still exactly 7.48. Oh, 7.48 is the time. Okay. I love how, like, the rest of them are, like, standing still, and this one over the corner is just over here wobbling. Okay. Oh, yes. I. Oh, wait, wait. Is Charon their brother? Because I know Hypnos and Thanatos. I guess Charon would be. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is doggy time. Doggy time, doggy time, doggy time. You're such a good boy, aren't you, Cerberus? Yes, you are. Guarded the place while I was out. And even let my son come visit me. Yes, he's the best boy. He's the best boy. The ever vigilant and terrifying Cerberus merely accepts the praise. You can't make him sound scarier than he is, Homer. Nobody's fooled. He's a puppy. And these are, these are his people. This is his ultimate person. Hello, good dog. We don't let anybody in around this place, do you, boy? Except for me. Except for me. I'm glad this thing hasn't turned out to be like a pit that drops me into the punishment room or something like that, like I thought might happen. <laughs> I was a little concerned about that. But I guess it's not going to happen, which is good. I guess there's not a line running through the skull face, so that makes sense, actually. 
It's just tiles that I've got things inlaid in them. Anyway, Dad wanted to talk, so let's see. Is he going to be full of praise? Uh, that might be a little too strong. Is he going to find it in him to say something relatively positive in praise of his son? We'll find out. He came pretty close last time. Always wanted to ask you something, Father. Whose skull is that there on your shoulder? If it's not too personal. But you had your dog's skulls on your shoulders, Agrius, and your dog is right there. So it's like they're not actually your dog's heads. There's, I guess maybe it's not actually somebody's head. I guess maybe it's representing something. I don't know. I did not chronicle all Typhon's wretched offspring, boy. No one did. Some of them sit upon our shoulders now, lest we forget that things could easily have turned out rather differently and much, much worse. Oof. So these are just the remains of the spawn of the most hideous monstrosity of all time, which you and your brother slew, got it? I guess putting the dead in their place is all part of the job. I can hardly imagine what it was like before you and the Olympians took charge. Hmm. Yeah, I do wonder what it was like. You're better off. Oof. Is there anything new? No, nothing I can afford over here. Just a bunch of themes. Okay, so this is the default theme. Oh man, how exciting. Is there anything else I wanted to do to buy? I don't think so. Oh, I could change that thing in the floor. Fated order. Is there anything else I was gonna shop for? Oh yeah, the, the typh Typhon Echidna fic. I remember that. I remember that. Do I want to have more? I don't think there was anything else I was going to... I don't think there was anything I was going to shop for. This picture just makes me think of Midna every time I see it. I'm sorry. It just does. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I guess I could, like, get some, like... Ah! <gasps> you get a disco ball?! What? Also, I'm really curious about why there's a disc. Why there's a, a shortcut? I don't. I don't know why that shortcut is there. But there's a disco ball. For my dance party. Uh. Uh. I mean, I could get some of this stuff and see if like something comes up. But I, I would be afraid that that would take over an Achilles flag. All right. Um. Hi. We got no exclamation point here, though. May you yet find your muse somewhere out there, my friend. <laughs> I've been practicing, I promise. Do I only get to be able to play music once I have both the boyfriend and the girlfriend? That'd be exciting. Oh, look at that! The Wretched Broker! Hey, nice one, Wretched Broker. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta... I gotta Wretched Broker impersonate. Is this a good deal? Uh, all right, I think I think I should do the keys. Is there anything else I was gonna do with the nectar? I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna do. Do some. Hi, Hi friend. What's up? Hi, Zagreus. I wanted to talk to you again. I. What I mean is, I just hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Because if I did, you'd let me know, wouldn't you? Do so, please. Remember friends for all eternity? It's a long time, so there's no need for second guessing. I'm glad we had a chance to talk. Friendship! Oh, well, good. That's a relief to hear, but one last thing so I can clear my conscience of it. I, I saved all the ambrosia that you gave me, and I figured since I didn't realize, you know, the way you felt, I can be a little dense. I have it here, and I would like to give it back. Is that okay? Okay, so she didn't even realize that he was making romantic overtures. Okay. I'm a little unclear uh, exactly what went on there, but I guess if she's, like, potentially Aero altogether, or if she's just not into him, maybe she just doesn't think about that and didn't, didn't see that at all. It's just like, oh, we want to be really good friends. This is great. In which case, she's got a squish on him, not a crush. 
So it says she won't mind. Is there any? I assume them saying she won't mind means like you can le like genuinely like does it does yeah this is this is a chat hat question. Hold on, let me grab my hat. <laughs> But yes, a squish. A squish is a term that the ace community uses to describe if you have sort of crush-like feelings on somebody in a non-romantic way. There's no, so, no consequences. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll take it. I think I'll go for it. I... Look, if you don't want the ambrosia anymore, and receiving it made you feel uncomfortable in any way, I'll take it back. It was my gift to you to do with as you please. Are you sure you don't want it? This is a good reason, too. This is, it's not about, like, like you owe it to me because you didn't give me what I wanted. It's not like I, I gave you gifts to get romance and you failed to give romance. It is like, if this made you uncomfortable, I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Once more, modeling healthy relationship behaviors. Yes, I'm sure. And thank you for your understanding, Prince. It really was quite sweet of you, but it's important that I learn to stock the lounge myself. So, here you go. And I will see you soon, okay? It's interesting. Now that she's, now that they've talked, she doesn't, and she's not getting flustered, she talks to him more like her office lady self. Which is adorable. Her office lady self is super adorable. But it's good. Good. Like, and I can see them being, like, pals. Um, it's adorably. Adorably. Um, I... Thanks. Okay, well, I've got a lot of ambrosia, so... Let's turn in some fish! Please take these, will you, chef? For jelly. Oh, wow. Use them wisely, my friend. That, I think, was a lot of darkness, wasn't it? That that pro jelly was worth. So let's turn in nectar. Too good to pass up. We're gonna turn in some keys. Don't have enough keys. Don't have enough keys to make another diamond. Oh, enough keys to make nectar to make a diamond. But that's fine. That's fine. I think we're good. Okay, let's talk to other mom. Um, Nix, you don't suppose Charon would hold it against me if we had a little fight? To the death, I mean. <sighs> The game is reminding me that yes, in fact, Charon is one of her children. None of Charon's brothers ever dared fight with him whilst growing up. Why would you fathom such a ruinous idea, child? <laughs> oh well, I kind of did it a few times already. Oh, none of nobody, nobody would fight with him because he was too scary. I mean, also Thanatos would just be like, "That's a bad idea. That would be rude. Why would I do that?" And Hypnos is just like, that's too much effort. Hypnos and Sans would be friends. <laughs> they would just chill. Yes. A beautiful idiot child, yes. It kind of already happened. <laughs> yes. And I can confirm he's rather strong. Something I can do to make it up to him. Oh, yes. Can I please be better friends with him? I'd be happy to do that. Probably not, for it is unnecessary. Likely he appreciates having an adversary in his own way. Few would so much as dare. <laughs> I guess he's kind of weird and unknowable. He's like, somebody's not afraid of me, that's cool. A friendly rivalry it is then. I mean, isn't he the one who dared me to fight him? To see if I could beat him? Or no, that was Hermes, right? Hermes. He and Hermes have a rivalry. Or not have a rivalry, they had a bet, if I remember correctly. Alright, new ex new exclamation point. Let's do this. That's one more prophecy fulfilled. Ho ho! Ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Now I've My got weapons have revealed their hidden power. Lots of diamonds. I I have so many diamonds and, and lots and lots of friendship juices and things. Hermes Caron is a popular ship. Okay. Okay, that that's fair. That's fair. Family reunion. We're getting there. We just need Demeter. Demeter. I also haven't finished up her relationship either. Uh, Dionysus. Oh, that's all that's left. Dionysus, I'm sorry if you're the last one to be invited to the party. 
The Dawnbringer, in case you didn't know. Yes, that's Lucifer. They're making it very, very clear. This has been, like, the clearest one. Like, I mean, I don't even... I didn't even grow up within that faith tradition, and I still know all this stuff. It's Lightbringer, Lightbringer. In a form it assumed in the hands of a rebellious servant who railed against his all-powerful lord. Like, that's such a neat way of putting it. Because, uh, because... I don't know. I think it's just a really neat way of putting it. Anyway... I think we're doing pretty well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a... Oh! A great hero who gave up his exalted place in the underworld for the one he loves. Yes. I will find a way to reunite them. However, I gotta go get into some other shenanigans while I'm at it. Hi, Skelly. This guy over here. Skelly, will you come to my family dinner? You could be hitting me right now, boyo. Yeah, but family reunion. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Exegriff, I see your prideful fall down from the heavens to the flames. Igneous Eden, which launches volatile hellfire. Beam attack deals ramping damage. Special launches hellfire. Destructible bombs radiate damage and stagger nearby foes. Explode in large blast. Okay. As he fell from grace, he nonetheless f fought back in all his defiant fury. Like, I feel like Zagreus could relate. Oh, 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 I had a thought. Actually, I had a thing I wanted to say. I had, I, had I had a thing. I had a thing I wanted to say. If that's okay with you. Let me get this gun first, maybe. Grant me the aspect of Lucifer. What the heck? It's his face. That's just weird and looks like a weapon from some weird JRPG thing. Okay, let me say the thing. Okay. So, Hades is a video game set in the realm of the Lord of the Dead, right? And it's about escaping from death or trying to escape from death. And those who die and come back, those who die and live again. But it's all tied to death. I don't know all of the figures whose hidden aspects. Care to join me out there? There are. Um, but Arthur is the, the once and future king. He is the king who will return. Arthur. I genuinely don't know... Guan Yu's story, if it has anything to do with that. However, um, Beowulf, this is, um, this is referencing the dragon that killed Beowulf. And, and, and one of the key things about Beowulf's story and the way that it's written is that immortality within his era, and this is where you get the, the traditional, like, like original kind of, I guess, pagan uh, content of the story that gets kind of complicated by the the uh, the Christianity that's been grafted onto it is that back in the day um, the way that you achieve immortality so to speak is by having your your legend live on as long as people are telling your story you live forever um, and that's Be one of Beowulf's primary motivators um, in his adventures. There's so much boasting early on because it is through boasting that we establish who we are, who the, what, it's, it's how we shape the stories that are told that then establish our legacy and uh, in so doing our, our immortality such as it is within our culture. Um, and so he is trying to, like, like his, his situation is, is trying to live on after death. Arthur, again, he is the one who, who he will be back. I don't know Rama's you as story. As anyone I, know. I don't know how that works either. So I might have to extrapolate here. But then we have, then we have Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh's, Gilgamesh's story is that his, his love dies and he is so, A, overcome with grief, but B, terrified 
of the in, the concept of death that he goes on he goes searching for immortality so his quest is to find a way to live forever to defeat death um lucifer this one. introduces death to eden the garden of eden in which there is no death and i think adam and eve just kind of live in like happy ignorance one of the things that happens when they get tempted and eat the apple uh, the, they 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 become knowledgeable, but then they also can then die as they like have to get kicked out of the garden and stuff. So he introduces death to more to mortals. Like he introduces mortality to humanity, <laughs> but other good things as well, and change. Um, and so uh, the ones that I know, which is one two one two three four out of the six of them, their stories are all, like, they're not arbitrary, and it's not just that they're great epic heroes, although they are. Like, in a way, like, like the ones that I know, at least, are, are, are kind of, like, best of, like, great epic heroes, which is why I was able to guess that this would be Beowulf, even though I had forgotten that Beowulf's shield and dragons, and that's the thing. I'd forgotten about that. Um, but he's so iconic as one of the great heroes of, of like, epic, like, ep just, just one of the great epic heroes. Um, and like Gilgamesh is like like the oldest epic hero story that we have, um, but I was thinking about it once. I was thinking about Lucifer, where I was like, actually, like all four of these guys, they got something to do with death as a concept, avoiding death, fighting death, introducing death, something like that. Um, that's the, 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 that's a huge part of their storyline, not just an incidental one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What's up with Guan Yu? I don't know what's up with Rama. I don't know how they fit into that. So if somebody here, excuse me, is less ignorant than I am in that area, like in, in the in the area of like these mythologies, these these cultural traditions, um, if you could if, if you could weigh in, I, I'd be happy to hear what you have to think on that. Whether, uh, but I assume because it's a pretty strong thread tying the other four together i assume that there is something equivalent to the, these two that they perhaps they fight death or 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 have some way of of achieving immortality or something i don't know i don't know i thought it was neat okay i was really excited about it uh yeah we're gonna keep well Did my controller just stop working? No, I, I guess I must have failed at using it. See, I want, I really want to finalize this relationship with her. I wonder if I have to actually use that. Cause the ones I haven't bonded with Aphrodite, I haven't bonded with Poseidon, uh, I haven't bonded with grandma. And grandma's really the only one I'm really particularly interested in bonding with of those. Oh, yeah, I haven't bonded with mom either. So there's a couple of these like little stories I want to get. Um, Batty bat. But we're going to go... Hold on, let's try this. Okay, fire. Hold. Oh, that's the wrong button. The, the interesting like little like choir sound is really interesting. Ooh, nice burning since it was red. Right in a vertebrae. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Oh! Wow! Alright, let's see how this does. So the gun, I'm I'm I think the gun is my best weapon. But we're gonna do this. We're probably going to regret it. We're exceeding the heat gauge. I don't think we're going to win this fight. But we're going to try to get out there. And see what we can do. Okay? Yes. This is the most extreme measures. We'll see if we're able to make it. I'm not 100% sure that we will be able to make it to dad. But we're going to try. Um, I had a... What was my, what was my prediction? I had a prediction about that. Because it's something to do with some of Zagreus' abilities. I think he'll have an extra life. 
I think I'll have an extra life. Um, so I will be anticipating an extra life and probably some other stuff that he can do in that extra life um, that might look familiar. But that's, I think that's what it's gonna be. Again. All right. Another vermin outbreak near the surface then. One that I had someone dependable to deal with it. Where are those blasted satyrs coming from and to what end? The vile things. I do want to know that. I don't know what that is. We haven't solved that yet either. That's another mystery. I'll see what I can do about it, Father. I will. Hello, cousin. Hold fast to your resolve, cousin, and climb on toward the surface. No matter how often your foothold falters, I am here. Hey, got anything else? Ooh. The strength of the goddess. I'm going to need to figure out how this works. Okay. More ringers. Oops. Oops. Okay. There we go. Ah, I actually don't know that I like this one as much, but I also haven't figured it. Like, with the other ones, I've had a chance to figure out how to use them. So maybe not so much. Oh man, we could get monies or we could get hearts. Well, I'm glad that they've, um, they've established that it is okay for me to just fight Charon a bunch. Dash and give up. Oh shoot! You butt! Oh shoot! I'm having some trouble here. The laser beams and I do not get along very well. I did get the thingy gate thing. I don't know what this actually, what this is or how this works. I'm sorry. I haven't been down one. I guess I'll find out. Sure, why not? Oh, nothing. Greetings, Father. I'd like to see you dodge the following. Slave flip, Let's oh. Go, you wretches. There we go. Nope. Oh, shoot! Okay, so it's challenge stuff. That's not really my thing, but... Oh my god, the little boy. I oh, that's it. Did I get garlic? Is this like, is this like an onion? Because I'm like crying. An onion instead of whatever I was supposed to get. Ugh. Amazing. Red onion, one of the many ironies of living, if it can thus be called in this eternal realm of gloom, is that the onion, among every sustenance discovered, ranks among the sole reminders here of our once mortal diet, a foul root best known for bitterness or for unprompted issuance of tears. Oh man, I'm sorry, but I love onion. I love onions. You just gotta cook it first. These things are on fire. Uh, shopping? Yeah, I guess I've got that. Okay. Okay. I I don't Oh shoot. That was my fault.
Oops. Okay. Gemstones. I'm glad I didn't blow myself up with that. That would be no fun. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Oh, look at that. Monies. Okay, oh, sweet. Money. That does not count. That definitely doesn't even come close to counting. I did that, I did that, I did that. I'm just really excited. I'm just really excited. Chaos, what are you gonna say, friend? Your presence is appreciated, son of Hades. Please leave us here for now. <laughs> They're like, you've interrupted. <laughs> That's adorable. That's adorable. I appreciate that they're direct with, with Zagreus about what they are, what they want. Sure, why not? I mean, I'll probably regret that. Probably. That's fine. It's fine. Tombstone, just great. Taking so much damage here. I'm really not doing well with this gun. Really not doing well with this gun. Nephew, why the seas appear They're just about as widely feared as your vast underworld down there. The water can be deadlier than bronze. <sighs> Poseidon's got to brag. I might regret taking that, but that's fine. I'll have to try this gun though. I'm like obligated. The witches. Not a chance. Yeah, I'm really not doing well with this gun. Fishing, though. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it to Dad with this. I don't think. Hope to see in all that bread. Oh, 
Oh, I was really slow that time. I am victorious. <laughs> Zagreus, honey. Hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna try not to die. I need to remember to actually shoot. Should just shoot with it. Okay, so I should probably. Focus I got from chaos primarily on shooting. And then use the other thing as like a secondary bonus thing. Okay. Alright, we'll see what happens. Oops! That was my fault. Okay, much better, much better. Okay, that was definitely an improvement. Who dares? No time to lose. Oh shoot! Not very fast. Useless. Unfortunately, but that's fine. Bam! It goes boom. Uh. Sure. We'll turn my water gun stronger. Man, there's a lot of Erebus stuff here. about what happens if I get one of these properly. Let's see you avoid this. Okay. Shoot! Already? I'm yeah, I'm not good at this. With a different weapon maybe. On the other hand, this would train me to get back to being a, a defensive, which you kind of have to be if you're going to fight Charon. So this would make sense as like... <laughs> the sound effect there is really yeah. funny. I don't know! Dashing at lasers is hard to not do. You just want to dash at everything, laser or otherwise. Good. Hi, Dionysus. Why not? Sure, we're pretty early. Time to feast. Oh, I guess I could have gotten a hammer and see what happened. Well, that's fine. Hi, Caron. Can we be friends? All right. Let's see if we can survive this fight. I'm back, ladies. I'm not sure I can. Zer, z, 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 z. So you hear this, like the Zer coming in there? You really did say murder, Zer, didn't you? That's progress. 
Zagreus. I'm Zagreus. I'm not a murderer. Can you say Zagreus? I love him. I love him so much. I really want this to continue to move forward. She came so close. That's so good to Symphony. I'm so proud of you, honey. I'm gonna totally live a life here fighting to Stephanie. That's how you know that I'm not good with this weapon. <laughs> We're not gonna unfortunately get to the extreme measures, I don't think. The extreme measures four, which is unfortunate because it'd be really cool, but we'll get there eventually. It just it's okay if we die. Oops. Because we'll uh we'll have stuff that we have to come back for. shot her but we're making progress did you hear that she sort of tried to say his name peace to say and i love that he says peace that's very sweet and loving and good what a good boy he's such a good boy oh he's in a lot of health my keepsakes all right Back to this. Go with that one. And oh well, that's fine. We don't have any money, so we can't get Broke that. Out of Tartarus. Cheers. Yeah, I do kind of do stuff in time with music sometimes without realizing it, for better for worse. All right, Asphodel. I have a super soaker. You're made of fire. Hopefully this will end well for me and not for you. Oh no. Oh no. No. trying so hard to use the new gameplay mechanism thing that I'm like getting myself killed. Oh, 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 yay. Let's go visit friends. And we're off. We're off to see the friends. Mm. 
you know this tune, hon? It's one of our old hits. Old hits, really? No, I hadn't heard it before I beat the game the first time. So I could get these, um... I'm gonna keep going. I see you. Stay safe. <laughs> so I feel like. Stand down when I suffer. Oh, hold on. I'm busy trying not to die. I can blow you up too! How does that feel, buddy? Sorry. Oh my god, that's so many things you're launching at me. I don't like that. I don't like that. Will you stop it? I I will say it does kind of feel like I'm a uh, like I'm kind of running low on things for people to say to me in some of these conversations, which isn't really surprising. The Mega Gorgon. down. There we go. Okay. I didn't catch her name. Mega Gorgon is a cross between Mega Sabin and isn't there a Gorgon in um oh, what is that that show everyone likes? Stranger Things. Doesn't it have a Gorgon? Oh. Super Soaker time! Pushing the enemies away is pretty great. Oh, and they're rupturing too. Oops! Okay, don't set me on fire, please. 
That's almost the same thing, right? Megagorgon, Demogorgon, like they sound like they could be related, don't they? All right, keys of darkness, darkness, darkness. <laughs> well, I assume it had to do with D and D because they that game they not they they play D and D in that show, I think. Eep! Oh, yes, I'm Lauren and very good at, at pop culture. How could you tell? Okay. Oops. Where's the bad guy? There you are. I got a super so cute. Oops! Okay, that worked. I super soaked the bad guy. Okay, shopping. Shopping. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh. No shopping for me. Hello. In the name of Hades. Sure. See how we do here. Oh boy. Stopped anybody from attempting to leave Asphodel of late, Bernie. All right, which learning are you? Well, they're Ben Hammers. I've just chosen against them. Turning because it's waves, yeah? Okay. Eek! Super soccer time. Oops. Already. Jeez. Okay, there's one down. You get less. Oop. That's another one down. Oop. Okay, that's another one down. All right, Larny. children. I do a lot of damage at least. much harder if you don't have enjoy your magma bath if you don't have the um the uh I'll take that da, da, divine dash but I do so phew all right I don't think we're gonna make it all the way folks but that's okay what is it doing you crossed through all of Asphodel's defenses yeah 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 I did my Pete's super dying. soaker is going to be so good as <laughs> it does be dying, yes. Here we go. Clear. 
Now we see what we do. Yeah, because, like, I feel like I've hit the point where, like, I can pretty reliably do pretty well, you know? Okay, I guess I'll take a hammer this time around. Oh, I'm going to have a really hard time with these guys this time around, aren't I? I do a lot of damage, and they have a hard time with being pushed back. Oops! Yes, do get blown up there, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is super soaker. This is super soaker. Amazing. Igneous Eden attack. Okay, that's the beam. So your beam attack. Oh, so the, oh, the longer you hold it, it does more damage. I forgot about that. Triple beam. Beam attack. Does deal ramping damage. Fires three beams in a spread pattern. Is there any reason why you wouldn't want this? Because this doesn't take off the damage ramping. Okay, I'm taking it then. Let's go, Exegriff. Yeah. Alright, well, maybe that'll help me. I'm just picturing the Zagreus as a super soaker. <laughs> it's in his car. Amazing. Come. Where's the enemy? There you are. Oh my god, what are my what are my what is my gun doing? Oops, sorry. You're dead. Okay, sorry, I got confused. Oops. Ready. It's kind of like dad's gun. Does it run out faster that way? I did my best, Sagarius. So my professional associate, the fearsome boatman on the river sticks, you got to know him pretty well in all of this, right, Kaz? Hard getting through to him, I know, but his heart's in the right place. It's why I'm working with him after all this time. I can see why people ship the two of them. Hermes is like, please befriend my difficult and get to know boyfriend. I would really like it if you did that. Wait, wait, wait. That is a lot of dashes. That's a lot of dashes. I could really use some health, actually. Sorry, hammer. Took care of those for you, mate. All right. For that. Don't try not to die. I don't have a lot of money. going to get um, one more person that we need to welcome to the family party. <sighs> if we survive this. It it's time we challenge one another once again. Prepare. I think that he, I'm going to win him over and he's going to join me. Sort of. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, this has a shorter range than the other gun did. Oops, 
shoot. Oops. Never. Thing is, I don't want to finish the story until I finish the side quest stories that I'll oh, shoot that I want. Again, I'm gonna have some trouble here. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Definitely, definitely is taking longer to kill. For the fight. Let's hope we run into Pat, shall we? Alright, time to invite Dionysus to the party. Grandma's gonna be last. Hope this lives up to your expectations, mate. In the <laughs> name of Hades, Olympus, this is an official message. Should be a good time, Lord Dionysus. Sorry, I turned the music down a bit because it was really loud. Whoa, hold just for a moment, Zach. Now I can recognize an invite when I see one, man. And this is definitely, almost certainly, some sort of invite. One for me and one for everybody else, it looks like here. Oh, I'm excited. That is something really special, I can tell. Dionysus is like, someone is up to something. This is a, this is a party. This is a party, man. A party. I like parties. All right. Not like I'm going to last long enough to put that to use, but you know. <sighs> All right, you ready to go die? Go back to the house of Hades? No, oh, shoot! I'm gonna die. How embarrassing. It's not even the end of the. Jeez. Oh, jeez, it's butterfly balls! Jeez, oh no! Oh no! No! We're having a bad time here! Of her. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I would have definitely died if I hadn't summoned Meg there. All right. Level. Well, we're gonna go die now. You ready? You ready? <sighs> oh, damn it. Yeah. 
That really hurt. That's all right. I don't think it's a natural fit. I, um, hello. That's okay. Hello. Just keep and watch over the pull of sticks there, same as always. Hypnos doesn't have a whole lot to say. Thank you. All right. Hello, friend. Achilles, I discovered the hidden aspect of the adamant rail after Lord Zeus himself told me the waking phrase. It's from a winged fellow by the name of Lucifer. Apparently had a bit of a falling out with his Lord Father. Wonder how that worked out for him. <laughs> See, there, there's a parallel. That's interesting. Huh. Perhaps it's from a time even before the Olympians rebelled against the Titans. But I've never heard of any Lucifer, with or without wings. Suggests to me perhaps that falling out of his did not work out so well. <laughs> I'll take it as a warning. Even the rail has its limits. Yeah. That's fair. Sagrius. I'm enough yet. Ah, I'm up. I'm up. Okay, so mom is going to be like, you've almost done it. You've almost done it. She puts so much happiness in her voice. You can hear it. It's a really nice touch. Oh, 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 oh. But first. I thought about it more, mother, and I would like very much if you and father were to share this. Though, maybe don't let on where you got it, just in case. Oh. This is splendid, Sagrius. But please, if there's one thing I've learned since we met... It's that the trust we share is at the very foundation of our relationships. Why shouldn't he know who this is from? Besides, I think he could figure it out. Probably it's not exactly a secret. Well, when it came to the Olympians, you said yourself that there was only so much truth that they could tolerate. Are you sure Father would be tolerant knowing I got this for the both of you? I give him a chance to grow. I'm sure enough. And if he isn't, I suppose it's more for me. Persephone definitely expects... Hades to do better. And then he does better. <laughs> well, just as long as someone puts it to good use. I like her attitude. You know I always wanted to be a mother, Zagreus. But after you were born, I was certain I had lost my chance. Then one fine morning you just walked into my life. And here we are. I still cannot entirely believe it. What I mean is, I love you, son. I'm doing my best. Oh, that's really sweet. That's really sweet. I can see part of perhaps her motivation for wanting to be a mother is to do better than her mother did for her. To be like, I have seen how unhealthy my family is. And there's got to be a better way to do it. I know. I love you too, mother. I really do like that Zagreus' relationships with both of his mothers involve him telling them that he loves them. Yay! Oh man, I can't finish her story bit until I've had four more conversations with her. I guess we're gonna have to die a whole bunch more tonight, folks. You know that painting in Father's, I mean, your bedchambers, it turned out rather well, didn't it? Some very talented shades around here. I have looked at that painting a lot until the game told me you will not get anything more from looking at this. Oh, it's beautiful. I tried to persuade your father to hang it out in the hall, but he's too coy about such things. Coy. Though I like it where it is. A reminder to us every day and night. That's sweet. Family's Still important. I can't believe you let me hold a spear. <laughs> like, that's like cute and almost like normal family stuff there. Cerberus cannot be bothered at this time. Oh my god, the game is telling me. The game is like, wrap it up, Lauren. Wrap it up. You took too long. You did too much. You dug into too much of it all at once. You've extracted all of the story. Ah, uh, we ought to reconvene the court now, I suppose. Father? Yeah, like, nobody has anything to say to me anymore, and Nyx isn't even here, so I can't move forward. Let's just have a listen. Uh, he and Thanatos are together. Did you see that? That person's gossiping about, I assume, Zagreus and Thanatos. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That, I'm sorry, that's delightful. <laughs> that makes listening in on the ghosts worth it. Right there. Oh, hi. Hi, friend. Tusa, I 
can't shake this feeling, so I wanted to apologize to you because I think when we first met, I just, I don't think I took it the right way. I never had a fan before. I wanted to live up to your idea of me. Oh, now Zagreus is just like, he's pouring out all of his awkwardnesses and regrets about how he's handled things. So she's like, can we just, just, it's okay. It's fine. We're friends. It's fine. Chill. Oh, Prince, Zagreus, don't worry about that. Even I didn't know what I was going through. <laughs> when I first started working here, I was just so impressed with you. I mean, you were the only one who would stand up to your father. I thought about you all the time. <laughs> but you didn't even know me yet. We didn't get to talking for what seemed like ages. You can be difficult to find, since I can't fly up to the rafters like you can. <laughs> I'm glad they're talking, though. They're getting to know each other more. Well, I'm so glad you kept trying to talk to me. If you hadn't, I'd probably be up in the rafters still, building up this idea of you that's not even as good as the real thing. Yes, it turns out that putting people on a pedestal is not very good for having a relationship with them. Oh, thank you, Dusa. She's adorable and actually pretty down to earth. This is my latest hole. Pleasure doing business. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, hmm. how close am I? How close am I? Oh, I'm not even close. Ah. Yeah. I mean, I could, but I don't need it. I have like a bazillion. However, oh, you made a grumpy face. The wretched broker did it. Ooh, now he makes a happy face. It's all good. I just, I don't know why there's going to be this secret entrance here. I don't know why this is a thing. I guess maybe it saves you some time or something, but... Man, I'm sad that Nyx isn't here. I really want that story to progress. I want to wait until... Come to think, oh, I didn't, did, don't think I played this the last time I was here, actually. Oh, no. I missed an opportunity. These are like actual chords for a song that he's actually gonna play. All right, well, we, we didn't, we didn't do it, folks. We didn't get to Pat either. I knew it. What did you know? A relationship, boyo, requires no exchange of words. Skelly, you have never had a shortage of words, my friend. That is what you do, is you words. I know. Words, no words, okay? We're gonna switch. We're gonna do a little switch, switch a here. Aspect. This Lucifer won't be needing it. I was having some fun with this. But I'm really good at this one. Oh, Mom's Bond. Oh, you're right. Forgot about Mom's Bond being a thing that is new here. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Where it is? There it is. The dead live on in the underworld, and her nurturing instinct there also thrives. A growing bond, which makes sense. It's neat because it's not only is she the goddess of spring, and therefore, um, and therefore growing things, but also because the two of them have come to know each other as adults, like later in, 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 in his life. Their bond has to grow. Hestia. It, it's clever. It's very clever. All right. Let's do it. Okay. I'm sorry if it's boring to watch me do the same weapon over and over again, but we're gonna give it a try. Oh, okay. So this. So even though it goes to ten, it still only counts as eight, and so I can just do ten three times in a row. Okay. I'm going to try it again. We're going to see what happens. Well, time to go get killed again. That's, yeah. <laughs> Zagreus does not have any more optimism than I do about our ability to withstand that. I shall not keep you, Zagreus, except to offer you some of my power to improve your chances of escape. Now quickly choose and go. Oh, Athena, she, she's really cool. She really is. I think I could learn to use the Lucifer aspect as opposed to Guan Yu, which I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm just, I don't know how the heck I made it out with, uh, with Arthur. Definitely a big problem that I was having with, um, 
with the aspect of, of Lucifer, though, was that I wasn't using the cumulative damage thing where you hit it longer. So. should think that night and war would share a common ground. <sighs> the war is on. War is not actually good, though. I really didn't do very well with Excalibur, but I, despite myself, I managed to, oops, to beat it. Yeah, this is definitely, I think we could save my best. Is this my best weapon? Is this the weapon I'm best with? I do really like Talos gun. Not gun, Talos gun, Talos fists. Well, we'll miss a couple it's not a question of statistics. Like, I'm saying, like, from your perspectives, as people who know this game pretty well. Nice try. Oops. Oops. Look what I found. I, I wonder what would happen though if I went and played the played the fists um, now that I've gotten better at the game. Let's go, lads. Oh, oh, Gilgamesh fists were fun too. Actually, now that I think about it, I've forgotten about that. This will prevent me, perhaps, from using up all of my death defiances. All right. Yeah, the, the great thing about the gun is that, like, the Hestia bonus, because I forget about it, it's like a little, like, bonus whenever I do remember it or get it right. As I get more into a run, I think sometimes I'll remember that it's there more often. Conversely, sometimes I'll forget it's there more often. It's really like a wild card. Like, what is Lauren's brain going to do this time around? It's a mystery. Nobody oh, knows. Uh. What are you going to offer me? No thanks. I mean, actually, I probably should have gotten that, but whatever. Oops! Let's fish. I don't know. There needs to be a fishing song. Your mind. I am not fish. perfect catch. I'm sorry. I'm not. I didn't sleep very much last night. Just, just so you know. I uh. I'll just take this one. I was out. My friends and I drove down to Buffalo for a show yesterday. Um, and, uh, so my reflexes won't be that great because I think we got in at, like, 
four, or, or rather, we got in at, I got home at around 2.30, 2.40, um, but then Sophie kept me awake. Until four-ish, so I was tired. Okay, well we have to go see chaos every time. It is me. Hello, did you have fun with Nyx? I guess that's why Nyx wasn't there. I just love the way Chaos's lines are written and delivered. Just everything about Chaos, I love. I just love them. Alright, Chaos. I guess I should take the one on the left, actually. Oops! We'll take that. All tuned up. Take the one on the left. Hope it's not grandma. It's not grandma. Ooh, monies. Because I don't want it to be grandma yet. I don't want to turn in the grandma adventures. Okay, so let's go do this. We're doing somewhat better this time around. Yeah, I went to go see the super guitar bro. So the same. Oh! Fury oh, it's all three of them. Oh. She's trying to say my name, but all three of them are here. Am I about to die? Have I fought all three Fury sisters before at the same time? I don't think I have. Yeah, she's, she keeps trying to say his name. Oops. Oops. Yeah, she keeps saying zig 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 zig. Oh shoot, I need to not run into the pillar of death, which is generally not recommended. That was not good. I'm having some trouble with my controls, apparently. Oop. Oh shoot. I need to remember to just do this for one. I knew it was going to take some damage from that, unfortunately. Oh, shoot! Will you stop? There we go. Yes, yeah, she's coming so close to saying his name, she keeps trying to. Glad that's over. I actually think that we're actually going to get through to her somehow. Also, wow, I was definitely lower on health than I realized. Glad I didn't realize. It was actually controller issues, I think, that I hit Let's the- Let's hear it, Father. Let's see how you fare in warmer environments. All right, Dad, good job. I keep hit. I think I was hitting part of the controller against my leg or something like that. Which to choose? Might help. She's really useful. Eh, we're fine. We're fine. We'll be okay. That's enough Tartarus. Oh, wait, what? 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 I just heard what sounded like a chaos sound. 
Did I hear chaos though? Oh no, it's that. No thanks. As much as I love Hermes, no thanks. I'm really, oh, I guess I could see what those are like in a, oh, it's because the... I could see what those are like with a weapon that I'm actually good at. Yes. I tend to only remember one thing exists, either the Hestia thing or the rocket. Ah, I'm dropping so many bombs, I can't keep track of where their bombs are. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Okay, well, there you were. <laughs> oh, yes! Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm just... Oh, you got man. anyone special in your life, by the way, hon? You seem like you'd be good for somebody out here. Come on, come on, come on, Zagreus! Come on, confide in Eurydice, please! You know what? Yes, I do, Eurydice. Things have moved so fast for me lately, I barely stop to think about it, though. It helps not having to go through everything alone. Just knowing I'll see them again soon. In this case, he's saying them in the plural. <laughs> know what you mean. And hey, that's great. Long as you can still be yourself. I've known too many nymphs. Their whole lives revolved around somebody they loved. I bet whoever it is that loves you, it's because of who you are. Yeah, no, that is that is a fair issue. With There's so many nymphs who are known for whichever one of the gods pursued them. I love that song so much. Oh, all right, who's next? 